first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number seven on the topic number system so now we are going to learn the last basic concept called consecutive numbers so friends don't forget to watch all the previous lesson so totally i have posted seven lessons that is based on the concept called number system that to the basic lessons because number system is like a huge topic first you have to learn the basics of all the number system so once you watch all this seven lesson so from the eighth lesson we are going to start solving the questions that is on the topic number system so at that time you will feel easy if you learn the basics properly so friends got it so here in this lesson number seven we are going to learn one of the concept that is important concept called consecutive numbers so before solving a question that is based on a consecutive numbers first you guys have to know what is called as consecutive numbers so when see here consecutive numbers is nothing but a set of series which follow some logic for example, if all the numbers are an even numbers, it is called as consecutive even numbers. If the numbers are in a certain format with all the numbers in odd, it is called as consecutive odd numbers. Or else, it's if a number, if a set of series that starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., it is called as consecutive natural numbers. Got it? I can write some example here. So let me take a number 56, 58, 60. 62 this is called as what just see here 56 58 it is in some sort of series but all the numbers is what even numbers so it is called as consecutive even numbers got it or not right so similarly if we consider this as 57 59 61 63 what is called as this is also a consecutive numbers yes or no so consecutive is nothing like it follows some logic you can see 57 plus 2 59 59 plus 2 61 61 plus 2 63 it follows some logic it's called as consecutive but it is not an even series it is a consecutive odd numbers got it or not so similarly if a set that starts from 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 it is called as consecutive natural numbers got it so this this is called as consecutive numbers consecutive even numbers consecutive odd numbers and consecutive natural numbers but one thing there is some format in the concept called the consecutive numbers they usually they won't consider this as 56 58 they will write this consecutive even numbers or a consecutive natural numbers in some format that is called as just see here x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 comma and it goes on x plus 3 x plus 4 up to m so friends this is called as consecutive natural numbers just listen here instead of x got it instead of x if you substitute 1 right instead of x if you substitute 1 so 1 comma 1 plus 1 will be 2 1 plus 2 will be 3 similarly next number will be x plus 3 3 plus 1 will be 4 it goes on this is called as consecutive natural numbers got it so this format x x plus 1 x plus 2 it goes on it is called as consecutive natural numbers so let me talk about the format for consecutive even numbers see here consecutive even numbers is nothing but x got it second number will be x plus 2 third number will be x plus 4 fourth number will be x plus 6 it goes on it is called as consecutive even numbers just friends listen here for this consecutive even numbers and for the consecutive odd numbers both have a same set of format right for both the cases the format is same you should not say for consecutive odd x x plus 3 x plus 5 no that is wrong this is the basic format which is common for consecutive odd as well as consecutive even instead of x Right, just listen carefully instead of x if you substitute a value of even number this becomes consecutive even instead of x if you substitute an odd number it becomes consecutive odd understood or not just see here if you substitute instead of instead of x if i substitute 20 right i'm substituting for x the value as 20 so first value is what 20 20 plus 2 will be 22 24 26 what series it is consecutive even number yes or no 20 22 24 etc instead of x if you substitute any odd number 21 then what it becomes 21 23 25 
27 it goes on got it or not right if you substitute the value of x as an even number it becomes consecutive even number if you substitute the value of x as an odd number it becomes consecutive odd numbers so friends understood this logic or not so totally in this consecutive numbers we have only two sets that is two formats one is a consecutive natural numbers and the second is consecutive even numbers and consecutive odd numbers for both the cases we have only one format that is x x plus 2 x plus 4 and it goes on so friends so first we have learned the basics of consecutive numbers so let me start solving some of the questions that is based on consecutive numbers so that you will feel this consecutive number topic is easy so let me move on to all the basic question on this lesson number 7 question number 1 so the sum of three consecutive numbers is 87 then the middle number is so friends listen here in the question they didn't say it's an it's a consecutive even numbers it is not a consecutive odd numbers but it is a consecutive numbers right what is the format we learn x x plus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 it is the format for consecutive numbers so here sum of three consecutive numbers sum is nothing but an addition so first consecutive number will be x addition sum second consecutive number will be x plus 1 third will be x plus 2 you have to stop until the third number why because in the question they have said sum of three consecutive numbers 1 2 and 3 if they said sum of four consecutive numbers then x plus 3 5 x plus 4 it goes on got it if if they said it's a product then you have to multiply it got it so here sum of three consecutive numbers first number second number and third number will be how much 87 got it so first let me add x x and x will be 3x so 1 plus 2 will be 3 is equals to 87 so 3x is equal to 87 minus 3 will be 85 sorry 84 so 3x is equals to 84 so x is equal to if you cancel it 3 2s are 6 remaining will be 2 24 8 3s are 24 so totally x just listen here we got the value of x is what 28 so substitute now x is equal to 28 here the first number is x according to what is the format x x plus 1 x plus 2 this will be the format right instead of x if you substitute 28 the first number will be 28 second number will be 29 third number will be 30 it goes on got it or not but what is the target we need to find find the middle number so 28 will be the first number 29 will be the second number 30 will be the third number so out of these three the middle number is 29 so finally we can say that answer for the question number one is 29 so if you want you can cross check also if you add all these three numbers the resultant will be 87 question number two so the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 147 then the middle number is so friends listen here they are saying that sum of three consecutive odd numbers so it is not a natural numbers or an even numbers it is sum of consecutive odd numbers so what is the format i have told you so x second number will be x plus 2 third number will be x plus 4 it goes on but according to the question they are saying sum of three consecutive odd numbers so first number sum second number sum so totally sum of three consecutive numbers will be equal to 147 now what is our target we have to find the middle number got it so first let me add x x and x will be 3x 4 plus 2 will be 6 is equals to 147 so 3x is equals to 141 so x is equals to 4 3s are 12 right remaining will be 21 7 so 47 so finally we got the value of x is 47 so substitute in that format instead of x if you substitute 47 the first number will be 47 and the second number will be 49 and the third number will be 51 why because it is a consecutive odd numbers right so now according to the question out of three numbers our target is to find the middle number so middle number is 49 so answer for this question is 49 third question so the sum of four consecutive even number is 748 then the smallest among them so friends let's see here here it is based on a consecutive even number but not three even numbers it is a sum of 
four consecutive even numbers. So what is the first number here? X. Second number is what? X plus 2. So third number will be X plus 4 and the fourth number will be X plus 6. Again, they are not saying about the product. It is sum, addition. So sum of four consecutive even number is how much? 748. So first let me find what is the value of X. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So resultant will be 4X. So 4 plus 2 will be 6, 6 plus 2 will be 12 is equals to 748. So 4x is equals to 736. So x is equals to, so 1 fours are 4. So remaining will be 228 fours are, okay, 8. Then 184. Got it? Yes or no? 4 fours are 16, yes. So value of x will be 184. So now substitute instead of x 184. So if you substitute the first term x is equal to 184. Then the second number 184 plus 2 186 188 then 190. Yes or no? So this will be the four consecutive even numbers. According to the question if you add all these four consecutive even numbers then resultant will be 748. But what is our target? Our target is to find what is the smallest among all so out of these four number which number is smallest 184 is smallest so we can we can say that answer for this question number three where the smallest will be 184 question number four so out of six consecutive natural numbers if the sum of first three number is 27 so what is the sum of other three so friends listen here what they are saying is out of six consecutive numbers it is not an even number or an odd number it is a consecutive natural numbers so what is the format here so first number will be x second will be x plus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 x plus 4 and x plus 5 so now what they are saying is sum of First three consecutive natural numbers will be how much total is how much is here out of the six consecutive numbers if the sum of first three numbers so first three numbers sum is how much they have given is 27. So first let me add the first three consecutive numbers so x x and x will be 3x so 2 plus 1 will be 3 is equals to how much they have given 27 got it so 3x will be 24 so x will be 8. So finally, we got the value of x is what? 8. Now, what is our target is? Our target is to find what is the sum of the remaining, that is last three consecutive numbers. So substitute 8 here instead of x. If you substitute 8, so 8 plus 3 will be 11. Got it? So next number will be 12 and the next number will be 13. So if you add all the remaining three numbers, the resultant will be 36. So finally, we can say that the answer for this question number 4 is 36. So friends understood or not? It is very easy. So totally out of 6 consecutive numbers, the first sum of 3 first consecutive numbers will be 27. So using the data, we have initially found what is the value of x. But our target is not to find the value of x. What is our target? Our target is to find what is the sum of the remaining 3 consecutive numbers. So substitute x is equal to 8 here. So 8 plus 3 will be 11. Second number will be 12 and the third number will be 13. So if you sum add all the 3 numbers, resultant will be 36. So this will be the answer for question number 4. So friends, finally, in this video, we have learned what is called as consecutive numbers and we have learned the two important format that is consecutive numbers and for consecutive odd and even numbers format. So after that, we have solved a four basic question that is based on consecutive numbers. It is enough for this video because here we will be learning only the basics. So from the eighth lesson, we can start solving some of the important question on the topic number system. So always remember one thing, be strong on the basics. So totally I have posted seven lessons that is only basics about the topic number system. So you should be strong on the basics. Again, I am saying only if you strong on the basics, you can able to solve all the questions on this topic, right? So that's it about this lesson number seven. So don't forget to watch all the remaining videos and you to try to search in Google and start solving the questions. So thank you so much for watching this video. So if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.